So I wanted to do a video on the side effects of calcium carbonate because a lot of people are taking it, but they don't really know much about it. The biggest thing that you need to know is that calcium and other minerals need an acidic medium to be absorbed, okay? So if your stomach does not have the acidity that you need, that calcium is not gonna be absorbed too well. A lot of people are taking calcium carbonate for heartburn. And what happens, the calcium carbonate dries up the acid in the stomach over time to the point where you have less and less acid. So not only does that calcium not absorb and benefit you anyway, but the calcium ends up causing heartburn because now there's no way of creating a signal to close the valve at the top of the stomach. And now you get GERD or acid reflux. You need a really, really, really acid stomach to keep that valve on the top of the stomach closed so there's no acid that shoots up. Now, this is my opinion, but I think you'd be better off by taking apple cider vinegar for GERD or heartburn than any type of calcium products. But of course, check with your doctor before taking any of my advice. Now, there's a couple studies I'm gonna put down below that uh, talk about this. High doses of calcium carbonate did not increase bone density in the condition of osteoporosis, but it did increase the risk of heart attacks. Also, there's some interesting information on calcium carbonate lowering the thyroid function and blocking the person's ability to utilize T3, which is the active form of the thyroid hormone. Here are some of the side effects. Loss of appetite, constipation, gas, nausea, vomiting, decrease in hydrochloric acid. I talked about that. You need HCL to absorb calcium and the calcium being alkaline will decrease HCL, so it's a double-edged sword. There are various contraindications to calcium carbonate. One is you don't wanna take it if you have kidney stones. Number two, if you have hypercalcemia, this means too much calcium in the blood. Here are the symptoms. Increased urination. How many people get up several times of the night and they think it's normal? Fatigue, headache, abdominal pain. Now, you can also have a blood sugar problem, insulin resistance, or being a pre-diabetic and have some of these symptoms too, but it could also come from too much calcium in the blood. And a lot of people, especially the elderly, are taking this daily calcium in mega doses, thinking that it's gonna prevent their bone loss when it's actually creating other issues. Now, if you think about someone that is older, what do they have? Arthritis, calcification. Now you're gonna dump more calcium into the system. Might not be the best thing to do. And lastly, calcium carbonate gives a severe interaction with 210 drugs. So if you take someone that's older that has normally low hydrochloric acid, so they're gonna have heartburn, and they start taking this, and they're also taking it for their bone loss, and they're getting up urinating all the time from this right here, and they're usually on multiple medications which could interfere with this, it's just something to be aware of if you happen to be taking this or have a parent or a grandparent who's taking it, have them watch this video. The mineral calcium is actually very interesting. And if you wanna see a really interesting video, check out this one on calcium that I did quite a few years ago.